यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो we are going to discuss pareto analysis now few days back we have done a video on that using windows function and why we are back again on the same analysis the reason for that is there's something which has changed in the february release in the windows function which is going to make it little bit more easier so i have decided to do a video on that so i'll tell you what feature has changed if you'll watch the previous video which i'm going to provide in the link you will see there was one error which was happening and i recently realized that error has gone and that error was what was that error and i'm going to tell you so let's jump on to what we were doing previously so this is the thing what we have done in the past so what we have done is basically we've created the uh, pareto analysis and in the pareto analysis we have used the windows function so if you look at here i have these uh, uh pareto this one and you can see that you know i was using absolute and i was using absolute here and i was using rank here and the reason for using the rank here because when i was trying to give her a relative position it was not taking because once it start taking relative position it would be much more easier for us to do that okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to do the same analysis again and we will also play around with few more things today while we are doing this analysis so let's jump onto a new file on the power bi and let's start the pareto analysis again so let's bring in that visual again so we bring in the brand visual and along with the brand we bring in the net visual the net major and let me show you the formula of the net and let me make it little bit bigger because last time some of you told that uh, this is too small it is not visible so let me make it little bit bigger now how do we create this so to create this let's create a new major so what we need first of all first of all let's create a cumulative major okay so how do we create a cumulative major last time this cumulative major is basically and i don't need cumulative based on brand please remember that i need cumulative based on or running total based on the net when it is sorted by net so let's try now in the new scenario calculate net and the window function first argument was zero absolute or one absolute is going to remain again same one absolute and zero absolute both works now the second argument was a re relative position which we were not able to give and that is where we have given the rank but this time i am going to say relative now next argument was if you remember we have given a summarize function and let me do this time let me try add column all selected item brand comma double quotes underscore net so we are doing two experiment in one go we are not even taking now the sales table okay so all all selected item brand i am taking that into add add columns and in the add columns i am adding the net okay so that's what i have done so now uh, my relation is complete i give a comma and i say order by and order by i say underscore net which it should give an error descending and i'll close i'll close this i close the windows function i close the cumulative no error has been thrown but the error was thrown when we dragged it inside isn't it let's sort it descending remember it's order dependent it's not that i put something and it's going to zoom. so this number is this this is adding up this is adding up continue to add the last total the last number will match with the grand total that's how we check our cumulative total so the last total should match with the grand total so now our cumulative is correct okay so now we can get cumulative percentage the pareto analysis isn't it i by mistake pressed something so let me close that let me bring in one more new major little bit clean effort i am doing this time so we say cumulative percentage isn't it and what is my cumulative percentage divide 
net by cumulative isn't it so now look at this entire concept of rank has gone away now to make it looking better now let me call it as percentage okay now you see there is some problem with this percentage because this is not the division we wanted to do so we say cumulative divided by comma calculate net all selected i need the grand total i need to divide by grand total the cumulative by grand total so now you will see the correct percentage okay so now we got the correct percentage now next thing what we have done is we identified what is my 80 percent the filtering isn't it so now let's plot it first of all and let's put some filter and check it out that's what we have also done last time so let's bring in the brand filter first of all are, are we using all selected i think we are using all selected isn't it let's bring in this create a slicer add a select all and the options are where are these options this is the option here in the visual properties select all let's select all and remove let's say brand 8 which is the top brand that's the easiest way isn't it all selected working still the numbers are still adding up to 100 percent okay if it is all it might not add 200 percent okay fine so this looks fine let's remove this thing we know things are working we just wanted to know how can we get 80 percent now now we have seen the entire now if you want to see it in more details you can still go ahead and watch that video but let me do one thing let me also create a line visual we created last time line visual we want to be you know same isn't it we want to have the same kind of stuff i want to do it little bit like this and let me keep net and cumulative right now let me create a line visual and you can see this now now you want to keep cumulative percentage and um, on the secondary axis and you don't want this cumulative here so you can have that so this will go down and this will actually keep, keep on continue to move up so this is how we work on in fact i can have the cumulative also on the secondary axis because that's a bigger number isn't it so cumulative is all sorted out we only need to know what is my percentage isn't it 80 percent so what we have done for that is basically 80 percent contribution that's what we need and i'll not do this time the parameter version of that you have seen that in the last you can do so we said sum x okay and in the sum x we need to use the keep filters and in the keep filters we used uh, uh, summarize so this time let's use add columns add columns all selected item brand see we are changing everywhere okay what is the next thing we filter is less than and equal to 0.8 then net as blank So we got less than and equal to 80 percent here. So formula what we created, we said we created this table, we kept it into the key filters, and in the sum x we put around a filter here. Okay, so this is how we got the 80 percent filter. Fine. So now you know 80 percent. 
what else you can do what you can also do is and let me tell you a b c classification now new video something new should be let's say a b c how we define a b c switch true if cumulative percentage is less than 0.8 remember it is percentage it is not this one percentage then call it a something something like this we do and this is descending so those who are contributing 80% is in the a now next 15% is b so 0.95 and rest less last 5% is c okay double quotes c and let's bring in this so you have a a a b b c c c c so a b c classification i have done point 0.9 actually it should have been point 0.95 and let i i saw i should have made the capital c okay so now we got our formula all sorted out a b c classification we got we got 80% also sorted out so go ahead and try this out because of this new small change our calculations have simplified little bit you can watch the previous video and in place of cumulative percentage or pareto whatever we have used in the last video you can just replace this new calculation and will be able to do rest of your calculation so there are two such videos in both those videos you can replace this new calculation which is now allowed because of the small change uh, in the windows function so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you